Hey guys, if you're serious about taking your Madden game to the next level, head on over to patreon.com slash maddenhelp12. You will receive the best blitzes, schemes, tips, glitches, money plays, and defenses anywhere. So if you're interested, head on over to the link in the description below. What's up guys, we're back again with a new play out of the Jumbo Heavy. It's one of your audibles, the PA Titan Cross. The setup for this is you want to fade both your tight ends and then swing your running back to the side of the comeback. Uh, and then you can motion out the far right receiver and put him on a slant or leave him on his drag. Uh, you see against any type of coverage where they do not have a hard flat that the swing route to the running back is going to be open. Um, it's really good post patch. Um, since the February patch, I've been utilizing more swing routes. Um, you see here even with a cover three uh, and a cloud flat or a cover two, uh, we can still hit the running back in the uh, flats. Uh, because the zones are getting pulled up by the inside uh, tight ends. Now your reads on this want to be to the high point pass tight ends, to the uh, slant uh, swing route, and then the last is this comeback route. Um, you see against a cover three or anywhere at time, there's two hook zones. You could fit that ball in there, but if they're in like a cover two with or um, another play with more than two hook zones, um, that... Um, that comeback route will be guarded and I'm gonna show you a way um, to actually still get it in um, even if they do have three um, hook zones on the field but you see that these are some easy reads um, you know high point pass if they're playing underneath or if they're trying to use her um, the left high point pass and you could throw it to the right so if they're trying to use her one of the high points that's why we have two of them on the field because they're uh, easy quick reads um, you see um, there again the comeback route is really good against zones especially if um, they're using and not paying attention to that route but definitely hit them um, in the flats to the running back uh, especially if they're not respecting it with a hard flat on the field because uh, it's a quick easy read um, the same thing with the slant um, force them to play underneath which will open up the uh, seams to the tight ends and open up that comeback route and mixing this in with the other plays um, just makes it that much better of a scheme. Um, you see there we put the far receiver on a in route. The reason for that is because that's how we're going to keep that uh, hook zone on the left from playing the comeback route. Um, we can put him on, a, on an in route and you see how he bites down and we're able to throw a high point pass to the receiver. Um, now, another thing to do if you have... Um, want to throw the high point pass to the triangle receiver and you know they're playing underneath coverages you could put um, the running back on an in route and they're going to actually suck down better than they do on the swing route um, but that's up to you like I said swing routes are really good uh, post patch now watch here uh, since we're motioning out with a delay watch how he, the hook plays that comeback route so see that's not a um, throw you want to do if you're going to put the receiver on a motion slant um, it's not going to open up that comeback route. So the way to open that up is to leave him in the tight compression and put him on the in route. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video on the update to the Jumbo Heavy PA Titan Cross. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And be sure to check out Madden247.com. And if you'd like to support me directly, Head on over to Patreon.com. Not only will you be supporting me, but you will be getting the best content you're going to find anywhere for Madden.